Hi and welcome back. So you've understood the mechanism of self healing. Now let me show you how simple it is to set up in Calon Studio. Please note that self healing is only available for web UI testing and Studio version 7.6 onward. If you're new, then you can download the latest Studio version from Calon.com, or you can always find the latest update in Calon Studio by navigating to Help and check for updates. I've also included a link in the course overview section for you to download the sample project that I'll use in this course. Feel free to pause this video to prepare and practice as you learn. I have all of my test cases and objects ready. In Studio, self-healing is enabled by default. But to turn it on or off, there are two ways. The simplest way is to click on the self-healing icon on the toolbar. If you see disable self-healing, it means that self-healing is active and you can click on that toggle to turn it off, and vice versa. If it shows enable self-healing, that means that it has been turned off, so click enable to turn it on. Another way is to go to project and settings. Under the self-healing section, click on web UI. In this window, you have the option to enable or disable self-healing by checking this box. And right below is the section for locator setup. Calon Studio self-healing mechanism currently supports four element locator methods, ActPath, Attribute, CSS Selector, and Image. You can decide to use one or multiple methods for the self-healing function by simply checking the boxes on the right. You can also prioritize them by dragging and dropping or using the move up and move down buttons above. At this point, you may ask, what order would be the best for my case? And that's a good question. It highly depends on the application under test and the elements you are using. Let's go through these methods so you can understand and create an order that works best for your case. I'll take this current priority order as an example. Since XPath is on top, when Calon Studio fails to identify an object via its default locator method, it will look at XPath first. Let's say the default locator is XPath and it doesn't work. Studio will continue to search and use its robust neighbors meaning the other relative XPath, if there's any. If self-healing successfully finds a working XPath alternative to interact with that element, the test execution continues and later self-healing will suggest the alternative as a permanent replacement for the broken default locator. Otherwise, Studio will continue to search for attributes, and the same process will repeat again for attributes, then CSS selector, and finally image. Particularly for XPath and attributes, a list of alternative locators can be generated automatically when you use Record and Playback or Object Spy to capture web elements and their properties. Alternatively, you can also use Studio's intuitive UI to add the locators manually without doing much coding. Doing it this way saves you loads of time compared to when working with open source libraries.